Ariel Castro charged with kidnapping and rape on one charge, kidnapping and rape on the second, kidnapping and rape on the third, and kidnapping on the fourth. Um, with respect to Mr. Castro, he is waiving examination on each case. The charges against Mr. Castro are based on premeditated, deliberate, and afraid uh, decisions to snatch three young ladies from uh, Cleveland's West Side streets to be used in whatever self-gratifying, self-serving way uh, he saw fit. Two of the victims endured this horrifying ordeal for more than a decade, the third for close to a decade, and uh, the ordeal grew to eventually include a little girl uh, believed to have been born to one of the women while in captivity. Also, while in captivity, they were stood repeated uh, beatings. They were bound and restrained and sexually assaulted, basically never free to leave this residence. Uh, just as suddenly, unexpectedly, and, and quite frankly, inexplicably as they disappeared, they reemerged. Uh, thankfully, miraculously, three days ago at the home of Mr. Castro. Uh, that's a home that served as Mr. Castro's residence for the prison to uh, these three women and eventually that child. Today, the situation is turned, Your Honor. Mr. Castro stands before you a captive. Uh, in captivity, a prisoner. The women are free to resume their lives that were uh, interrupted. And um, also with the promise uh, and the hope that justice will be served, to ensure that justice is served, to protect the victims and the community that Mr. Castro uh, manipulated and deceived. The state is asking that bond be set at $5 million cash jury in this matter. Thank you. Thank you. Also, in order that we have no contact with victims or their families, or whether he's out on bail or not. Thank you very much. Four cases. Bond will be set at two million on each case. 